His name was Ebenezer Scrooge. And Ebenezer Scrooge was a miser, a rich miser as a matter of fact, who, who was a greedy miser and did not like Christmas. He would, o he would always refuse to help the poor who were in need. Ebenezer Scro Scrooge was one, was one man who did not like Christmas. Every time people said Merry Christmas, his words were, Bah, humbug. Ebenezer Scrooge was the richest man and an old miserable man. Was there any way that people could change him? He always ran people off. And every time people would want to wish him a Merry Christmas, his words were, Bah humbug. Ebenezer Scrooge believed Christmas is only just a waste of time to where people want to waste their money. Ebenezer Scrooge also had said the worst quote of all. Christmas is a time where people always want to pick money out of my pockets every 24th of December. If I can work my will, everybody that says Merry Christmas on their lips should be boiled to their own stick of pudding and be buried in a stick of holly with their hearts. And that was how Ebenezer Scrooge was until the time came where Scro Scrooge was once encountered by his partner Jacob Marley who had been dead for seven years on the night of Christmas Eve. Mar Marley had warned Scrooge that he would be visited by three spirits and that if he had not ex changed his ways then he would not be able to escape Marley's fate. Marley was in chains and Marley had told him that there were chains on him and Scrooge had said a chains? I see no chains. Marley had said, My chains were invisible until the day of my death, as your chains are. I made it link by link and yard by yard. Your chains must be a heavy chain by now. Scrooge had asked, Jacob, have you no comfort for me? I have none to give, and none for myself. But I have come tonight to warn you that you have yet hope to escape my fate. You have a chance and hope to ch escape my fate, Ebenezer Scrooge. Thank you, Jacob. You were a good friend of mine. You will be visited by three spirits. But was that a chance and hope that you mentioned, Jacob? It was. Oh, well, in that case, never mind. I think I'd rather not. Without their visit, you cannot hope to shun the path I tread. It Except the first, when the bell tones one, and except the second spirit, when the bell strikes two, and the third spirit, when the bell strikes three. Oh, could I have them all at once and have it over with? Remember, the one, the one spirit at one, and the second at two, 
And the third at three. But Jake, Jacob, don't leave me. I have more questions that I must ask you. Jacob! <laughs> look to see me no more. But look that you will remember what awaits you. Yes. Marley had showed Scrooge the fate that awaited him if he had not changed his ways. Ebenezer Scrooge was indeed a miser, a rich miser, until the three spirits had visited him. The, the spirit of Christmas past and the present and the future. Did Ebenezer Scrooge change his ways? I would say he did. And how do I know that? I was one of the spirits that came to visit him. I was not the first or the last, but I was the second. Ebenezer Scrooge had changed his ways and promised to keep Christmas in, the, in his heart forever. Ebenezer Scrooge went from being a greedy miser to an earnest. Uh, an uh, earnest? Uh, d d did you say earnest? No, I did not say earnest. Well, yes, you did. You, you called my name. You said Ernest. I was talking about a man named Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, well, uh, you said, you also said Ernest. So if you say that Ebenezer Scrooge became from a rich miser to an Ernest, that means that Ebenezer Scrooge must be me. And if he is me, then that means I am him. And my, and the real name must be, uh... Ernest P. Scrooge. Who are you? Don't you? Well, I just told you. My name is Ernest. I am Ernest P. Worrell. Uh, the last I looked this morning when I woke up, I was Ernest P. Worrell. And now I find out that my real name is Ernest P. Scrooge. And that means maybe, maybe I'm, maybe he's a great, great grandfather of mine. My great, great grandfather, Pete Worrell. I was not saying that his name was Ernest. I said that he went from being a greedy man to an earnest. I don't understand. I was never a greedy man, and I'm an earnest. I mean that he earned the money to pay the poor. He gave money to the poor. Oh. Oh, my mistake. Ew. Vern, that's the biggest mistake that I have ever made in my life. You don't want to make those mistakes. Trust me. You sure, though? Well then, if he, but, but what if he is me? And that means that, I, that he's uh, Scrooge P. Worrell, and I am, uh, or he mu he must be er, he must be an Ernest P. P. Worrell, or I'm uh, Ernest P. Scrooge, uh, and he's Ebenezer Worrell. I. Uh... I don't fully understand. Oh, well, um... Okay, in that case, I guess I can't expect you to understand. <laughs> that was kind of unusual. About that crazy guy. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Christmas. Ebenezer Scrooge we all know was once a greedy man and then he changed his ways and yes Ebenezer Scrooge did escape the fate of Jacob Marley and he also raised Bob Cratchit's salary and it helped the family out and Tiny Tim the one who was the lame boy did not die he became a second father and it was to where Tiny Tim's quote was God bless us everyone 
Christmas. As a matter of fact, we all say Merry Christmas. Ebenezer Scrooge, of course, who did not like Christmas, who once did not like Christmas, I should say, always did say Bah Humbug. And these days, when we, when people say Merry Christmas, people do take Merry Christmas very offensive. And why? It is very, very upsetting. I can say because they just don't like the word Merry Christmas. It has been going on like that since the year 1979. And I will say that when people find Merry Christmas as the offensive word, I find that very offensive myself when they say that people can no longer say Merry Christmas. Yes, it is up to me to fill them with Christmas spirit as I did Ebenezer Scrooge. I am the spirit of Christmas present. And I will say that I am the one who had 1,800 brothers. 1,800 to be exact. <laughs> I am the Jolly Giant. I am the one who was to show Scrooge how people celebrate Christmas. To sh take him to the, Chris the Christmas that he missed out on, or thought he missed out on, which was his nephew Fred, and first I took him to his, the house of his clerk, Bob Cratchit, and family. <laughs> yes, Ebenezer Scrooge did, in fact, change. <laughs> but, as it is said, Ebenezer Scrooge is about to get another visit from his partner, Jacob Marley. Oh, I love this wonderful time of the year. Yes, I remember those days when I was a very greedy man. But all of that has changed now. Scrooge. I know that voice. Scrooge. Molly? Molly, is that you, Scrooge? Jacob. Jacob, Molly, show yourself. Show yourself. Ah! Spare me, Jacob. Spare me. Oh, spare me. And please do not show me those flying phantoms in my, in my yard again. I have not come to show you any phantoms. Fear not, Scrooge. I have come to ask you. Do you remember that night when I came? Yes. You, you came... You came to my house and warned me that I had a chance to escape your fate. The chance and hope, Jacob. The chance and hope that you were talking about was the three spirits that were, that were to help me escape my fate. Jacob, haven't I escaped your fate? Yes, you have. And do you see the chains still on me? The chains are gone. Then why have you come, Jacob? I have come to tell you that you have a visit. A visit? A visit by whom? Do you remember when you were visited by three spirits? Of course, the Christmas past, when I heard the bell strike one, I saw the ghost of Christmas past, and then when the bell strike two, the ghost of Christmas present came, and then when the bell strike three, it was the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Yes, it was. But what 
what would I need another visitation for? And how many are coming? Or did you say there was only going to be one this time, Jacob? I did. You will be visited by the spirit of Christmas present. Oh. You are not to be haunted this time, but you are to be visited by this spirit. You are be going to be sent on an assignment to help, to help another escape my fate. You will be the example of how you used to be and how you will help this next poor unfortunate soul to escape my fate. Scrooge, you must speak of me to this other, this new miser. But Jacob, I don't know what to say. Speak of me and tell him that he has a chance to escape my fate. Of course, he will end up like me if he does not change. I, I understand, Jacob, and I agree. But, Jacob, will you be coming with me? I cannot come. This assignment is yours alone. Okay, Jacob. I will, I will seek and know this Christmas spirit once again better. And I wish you the best of my luck, Ebenezer Scrooge. Farewell, Scrooge. The ghost, the ghost of Christmas present. I must help someone. I must help someone escape the fate of Jacob Marley. Hmm. But I am kind of tired. Perhaps as I wait for the Christmas spirit, I should get some rest. And then I know that I will be ready. I am ready, Jacob. But... Rest is what I need first, Jacob, Molly. Oh. Rest. Mm. Jacob's gone. Oh. Ah. Oh. Not only did did Scrooge be the only one that I had to help, but there is also. A penguin named Buddy. Now, Buddy did not hate Christmas, but there was a time where he did not feel up to the Christmas mood, and I had helped him. <laughs> and I know that Buddy does have the Christmas joy, but I wonder, is... I wonder what he is doing for Christmas and what he is doing with that Christmas joy. <laughs> well, maybe I should go and find out. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive the grace. Let every heart repair him through. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven, heaven, nature sing. 
He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations groan. <laughs> The glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. Hello out there, everyone. I am Buddy the Penguin. Yes. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I want to say that I have an announcement to make. But first, before I make this announcement, I will say that I know that all of you were once disappointed that just a year ago, you were all wanting to celebrate Christmas. And I did not celebrate Christmas. And you all were worried because you thought, well, you know, Buddy must hate Christmas. No, no, I do not hate Christmas. I never did. But for one thing, I was blind. Yes, no, I'm not saying that I was blind to where I could not see. But I can say that what I was thinking was that I thought Christmas was a waste of time to celebrate in one year because... I did not have any money to buy gifts. And unfortunately, I was wrong. I was wrong. Because all I needed for a gift was my friends. To have each other. Some people get very little on, on gifts. And I know that there's people in this world who get a lot. And uh, we all want a lot that we expect out of Christmas. And not always... Not do not. It's not always every year that we do get a lot of gifts for Christmas, and it kind of gets a little depressing. That's why kids these days, you know, know that they want to write a letter to Santa Claus, or go and sit on Santa's lap, and say, "Santa Claus, I want a bike." Santa, you know, a, a little boy would ask for a bike or a DS or a or a or a toy like. Uh, Say you were to get a toy of uh, Sheriff Woody from Toy Story, or a Buzz Lightyear, for example. Or, you know, you, you would want to get yourself a G.I. Joe, or a Mr. Potato Head, or whatever's out there. And, you know, whatever your parents could not afford, they would all leave it up to old Santa, St. Nick to just uh, do his own job. That's why Christmas Eve, he flies around the world in one night to just go down the chimney. Now you ask yourself a question like this. How in the world can Santa do that? He's been doing that for so many years. Heck, you know, he's, he's, been, uh, he's been doing it for years. And does he get tired after a while? I'm pretty sure he does. He goes home pretty late when his job is done. And Mrs. Claus, you know, she's, she's at home baking cookies. Santa, of course, would slide down his chimney, every chimney that, that he would slide and drink, t you know, a lot of cookies. He would always drink a lot, drink a lot of milk, and eat the cookies that the kids would leave out for him. <sighs> I mean, you know, Santa would have to keep doing that in every house that he would slide in. How would you like to be Santa Claus and go through that? <laughs> I probably couldn't survive by all that, all those sweets that would just, you know, give me a big stomach ache. Yes, Santa came that, that year when I did not feel like I was in a mood to talk to him. But then, I, I know that I made Santa feel bad because I know that he was coming to just wish everybody, including me, a Merry Christmas. So, I know you're all wondering, will Santa be here? I hope so. I'm depending and expecting on him to be here, but I also have an announcement. See, I love Christmas, and I know a lot of you probably thought, well, Buddy hates Christmas. No, no, I don't. I didn't hate Christmas then. I just didn't feel up to it. But also, the spirit of Christmas, yes, he was the the 
spirit of Christmas present, who also was just as great as Santa, maybe greater than Santa too. And a lot of my friends did not see him. I did. Why did I see him? Maybe because he was here to help me, and I was the only victim that he was here to help. And, you know, that that guy there has a, you know, holds on to what I wish that we all could hold on, a little, a little uh, spirit horn that could actually bless everybody with happiness. We should be happy at this time of the year. And now, you are also waiting for my announcement. Well, my announcement is, there is going to be a Christmas party. Yes, I said it, and I will say it again. A Christmas party! So, Merry Christmas! Ah, my fine friends. <clears throat> Aaron and... Grim. Well, hello there, buddy. Hi, buddy. Wow. Say, uh, you said that you're going to have a Christmas party? Exactly. And anyone who is interested in, in a Christmas party is more than welcome to join. I'm hoping because the Christmas party is made for you. Oh, why, that's great, buddy. Yeah, I'd like to have Christmas parties. Don't you, Aaron? Oh, yeah, I would. Uh, you don't mind uh, that we're having a Christmas party and that it's not a uh, St. Patrick party, do you? Oh, no, I don't mind that at all. I'm not upset. Why, I have got the Christmas spirit and I don't mind. Sure, sure, St. Patrick's Day is my favorite time of the year, too. But next to St. Patrick's Day, I love Christmas. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, buddy, speaking of the Christmas spirit... And you were also mentioning him on the stage. Is it actually true that you saw him? Is there... Before I uh, answer that question, Aaron, has there ever been a time where I have ever told you a lie? Uh, well, no. And if you did tell me a lie, you might have only told me one lie. And uh, that was probably a long time ago. That's probably why I didn't remember. And, uh, well, well, I have, well, here's a question that I have. Do you think that me seeing the Christmas present, the, the, the spirit of Christmas present, I should say, was a lie? Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't believe that it was a lie at all. I don't think it was a lie. You don't think. Well, buddy, I, I would not want to call you a liar. Well, if you think I'm lying, go ahead and tell me. I don't believe you're lying. I believe that if you saw the Christmas spirit, you saw the Christmas spirit. After all, you did say, buddy, that uh, that you you saw him, and only he only you could see him because you were the one that he wanted to help. So, I believe you, and I believe, of course, that you did not tell him tell me a lie. Good. Uh, I, it's just a shame that we didn't see him. Yeah, I know it, it is, but I think he only is meaning for people that he's helping to see him. But you know, yes, it is, it is true. I did see the spirit of Christmas present. Thought he was a little crazy. You know, I, I kind of thought he was pretty creepy. What was, what else did he say? You know, I noticed that you uh, wanted to, to to talk to him privately, which was before he left, right? Well, he, uh, you know, that's a good question. He said that I may need his help again. Again? I was always wondering what he said to you, and you never told us. You never asked. Well, I think that's a good point, Aaron. You never asked. Well, you didn't ask either. Oh, yeah. You know, um, he said that I needed help. I would need help. But I told him, oh, I don't think so. I, I think that I will continue to love Christmas, and I've learned that the important thing about Christmas is that we're all together. We have our friends. We have each other. Even if we don't have money to buy a gift. Our friendship. 
our gift is already right here because what our gift is is friendship. Well, I agree. I agree with that too, buddy. Yeah. So, do you do you believe that he's going to come back? I don't know. He, he says he is. Do you think it's possible this time that we'll all get to see him? Well, I don't know. That's up to him. But m m but maybe, maybe. Uh, um, the Christmas present wants to just make everyone feel the Christmas spirit, to enjoy celebrating Christmas. Um, but I, I don't know. I, isn't there anyone in in here that that likes Christmas? I don't think that there's anybody that hates Christmas. You don't hate Christmas, do you? Of course I don't. Uh, and you don't mind? Uh, I don't mind. No, no, no. I do not mind at all that it's going to be Christmas and not St. Patrick's Day. Like I told you, next to St. Patrick's Day, Christmas is also my favorite time of the year. Well, then, good. I'm, I'm glad that I'm hearing that from you. But I also would like to talk to some of the others that like, whether if they like Christmas or not. Because I, uh, the Christmas spirit told me that he was going to be coming back, but I wanted to make sure. Well, I think that everybody over there likes Christmas. I think, uh, I, I think as much as we like Christmas, there's Jack Sparrow and, uh, Puggy and also, uh, Global. Me and Grim and you, uh, we have over there also uh, Rainbow Cake, Dusty, Mama Bunny, Bananas, Princess. They like Christmas. I pretty much, am, uh, you know, I'm sure. Well, I just want to see if anybody likes Christmas and they feel like celebrating Christmas. I, I don't hate Christmas. I just didn't feel like celebrating. But I would like to remind everybody that we're all here together and we have the gift. To where if they're, you know, if they feel like that they are down in the dumps because they can't celebrate at Christmas, they can't buy any gifts, well, all our gifts are right here. Sure, sure, we want to do something for our friends. I wanted to do something for you guys. But I wasn't thinking clearly until the Christmas spirit came. And he told me that he may come back. I told him, well, no, 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 I, I don't think I'm going to need your help. But he said, trust me, you will. I was all right. Okay, and then with that, he just vanished in thin air. And then that was it. That was it. And so it's, it's Christmas time again, and uh, he wants to come back. Yeah. Are you going to get upset with him for coming back? No, I'm not going to get upset with him for coming back. He can do whatever he, I don't know, what he needs to do. Buddy. Yes? Is Santa coming like you announced? I'm pretty sure he will. Well, let me go talk to, my, to our friends. I want to make sure how much they love Christmas, even though they do. But that I want to see what they realize. Because if the Christmas spirit felt that he needed to help somebody in here, then I want to see for myself before he comes. I uh, could not agree more, buddy. Good. Because even if you, even if you do, do or don't agree with me, it doesn't matter. Still, I'm going to find out anyway. And by the way, don't pinch me for not wearing green. Who's <laughs> not going to pinch you? It's Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's go see what our friends have to say about Christmas. Oh, uh, hi, buddy. Um, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, same to you. Merry Christmas. Oh, what a wonderful time of the year to celebrate Christmas. Jack the horse with bells of holly, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, la 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 la. 
Na 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 gay apparel la 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 da 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 well that's that's very good global but I uh I wanted to ask you something do you love Christmas do I love Christmas oh well I guess that's a silly question to ask but uh do you feel like you need to buy Christmas gifts for your friends? Oh, well, you know, buddy, I I do love Christmas. And I always do want to celebrate Christmas to where I want to buy gifts for my friends, but I think that I have learned something from you. The same as you probably could have learned from me. Well, what did you learn? Buddy, I remember that there... There was a time where you did not want to celebrate Christmas, and I was pretty worried. In fact, everybody was worried. Everybody was worried. We were worried that you were ditching Christmas because you hated Christmas. But I never did hate Christmas. Oh, I know, I know, you actually said that. Um, somebody by the name of Christmas Present came. He came today? No. Not today. Well, I can say, buddy, I don't hate Christmas. And I know that you don't either. No, I, I don't hate Christmas. And I know that I am very grateful that I have at least every one of you. Well, that's good, buddy. And I'm, I'm really happy that we all have friendship. So you're doing a Christmas party. Yes. I love parties. Well, me too. B me three. You three? Well, he you said me. You, he said me too. And I said me three. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny. Uh, Puggy, I, I get the joke. Hey, uh, buddy. You really found the Christmas spirit? Uh, well, yes, I did. Oh. And, uh... What did he look like? Well, uh, you're gonna laugh, but he looked exactly like, uh, Willie Robertson of Ducks of Dynasty. Willie Robertson of Ducks of Dynasty? <laughs> that's all? Uh, well, uh, no, that's not exactly all. That's, uh, he was, um, he looked like another Santa Claus. He actually had a long green robe. But Santa wears red. Well, I know, but let me finish. Oh, okay. Long green robe. He had a wreath on his head. And he had a brown beard and long brown hair. Hmm. Sounds like somebody dressed for St. Patrick's Day. That's exactly what I said when I first heard about it. I thought, wait a minute, am I interrupting? Oh... Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, you sure? Uh, yeah, he, he sure. Yeah, uh, you're, you're just excited. Yeah, I'm excited. It's Christmas time in the city. But he was no, uh, giant leprechaun? No, he just, uh, was somebody to feel the Christmas spirit. He, uh, he also made the Christmas tree move. Oh. The Christmas tree was moving. As a matter of fact, that's what it's doing right now. The Christmas tree is moving. Do you see what I see? I do. The Christmas tree is moving. Yeah, the Christmas tree is moving. Very beautiful. I'd say. Buddy, do you think that the Christmas spirit probably came back anything that would cause that Christmas tree to move would be because of him hmm. unbelievable I wonder who he would want to talk to if he was coming back beats the heck out of me. That's why I'm going over everybody to see who loves Christmas. Uh, nobody hates Christmas. Well, not exactly anybody who... Uh, anybody that wants to celebrate Christmas, I should say. 
I didn't, the last I looked, I didn't see anybody who didn't want to celebrate Christmas, and I didn't hear about anybody who didn't want to celebrate Christmas. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe uh, none of the rest uh, hate Christmas. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe everybody wants to celebrate Christmas. Maybe they all learned uh, from, uh, from me. Well, that one year when you uh, didn't want to celebrate Christmas, we all we all still wanted to celebrate Christmas, but we we all were pretty worried about you, and it kind of made us feel bad. I'm sorry if I ruined it for you. Oh no, no, you don't have to apologize. You just you love us, buddy. That was the whole thing, and you wanted to give us something that you couldn't give us. But I think, buddy. You've given us something, and you're giving us something every year. And it's not just to unwrap, but it's something that we have actually every day. And you never get tired of receiving the same thing? Oh, no. We're friends. Should we ever get tired of one another? No, no. Well, then, there you go. Let's go talk to a few more of our friends. Okay. Yeah, that, that is kind of unusual, though. Unusual? And nothing that I've ever seen before. Buddy? You did see it before. The Christmas spirit was moving that tree the last he was here, am I correct? Yes, you are correct. And he gave me a Christmas tree ride. He... He gave you... He gave you a Christmas tree ride... Yes, it was, it was, uh, it was his way of having fun with me, although I was pretty scared. If you're going to give someone a tree ride, why not put some seat belts on there? <laughs> oh, what else could I do? I just had to hold on to it, you know, and stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, well, what a wonderful time of the year, I'll say. Oh, okay. Let's go. Hello, well, well, buddy. Well, hi there, princess. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Doing fine. How are you? Good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too, buddy. Uh, I know that this may seem to be a silly question, but are you happy that it's Christmas? Oh, yes. I am so excited about Christmas. I am so, so excited. Well, that's, that's good to know. I'm really happy, but, uh... Um, do you, uh, do you really, do you wish that you could buy Christmas gifts for all your friends? Well, I don't think I had enough money. Hmm. But at least I had you as a friend. And, uh, friendship already is a gift that you have for me and for the rest of us? Yep. And you're not upset one bit? Nope. Well, that's, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. I, I'm glad that you like Christmas because I'll tell you what. Um, that one year, well, I, uh, I didn't want to celebrate Christmas because I didn't have the money, and I thought, Christmas, what a waste of time to celebrate. If you're not going to have money to buy any gifts for your friends, then why celebrate it? But then, you know, I, I realized that the Christmas spirit is who I needed to talk to and to realize I don't need to get gifts for my friends because the gift is already right here. And uh, that's the important thing. But you know, this Christmas spirit, the, the last thing he said to me before he left was that he was going to come back. And I said, well, what do you want to come back for? And he said, well, because you need my help. And I said, but I already have the Christmas spirit. And I don't think that I will need your help. And he says, you don't know. And I was all like, oh, okay. So he vanished in thin air. So now... Now I'm going around and letting everybody know at the same time that I'm planning a Christmas party, but I'm also finding, trying to find out how every one of you feel about Christmas. Oh, I feel about Christmas is feeling happy and joyful, and all I have is you, Amy Puggy, uh, Aaron, Grimms, Globo, Mama Bunny, Rainbow Cake, Dusty, and Bananas. Well, I'm really glad to hear that. So you have the Christmas spirit already. I sure do, buddy. Mm, well, very good. Thank you.
Does anybody else hear love Christmas? I will say that I love Christmas. I couldn't be more excited than I already am. Well, good. And I have all my gifts right here. My friends. I feel the same way too, buddy. Mm. Well, that's good to know. I uh, Oh, buddy, I also had the same feeling too about the joy of Christmas, having friends and family. Well, good. You know something? You too are my Christmas gift. Oh, thank you, buddy. Already that I don't even have to write a letter to Santa Claus and say, I want friends because you know what? Friends are not by Santa Claus. You know, friends are actually like a blessing that the Lord gives us, and we have that gift already. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's good. Yes. Hello, buddy. Hi, hi, Mama Bunny. I also want to say about what Christmas is really about. It's not about money or something else like, uh, oh, let's see, getting, but it's a time of giving for other people. And I also want to say Christmas is about friends and family who loves you and cares about you and something what you really have, like a house, roof over your head, and somewhere you can sleep and somewhere you can eat. Uh -huh. And also what's really important is that I'm your friend. Aw, well, give me a hug. Oh, glad to, buddy. Thank you very much. Aw. Well, you know, I really am glad. You, you you know, I think everybody can learn a lesson from you. And you're filled, you're a little bunny filled with a big, huge Christmas spirit. Yes. Um, buddy? What? You excited about Christmas? Oh, of course I am. In fact, I'm throwing a big Christmas party. Oh, Christmas party. I'm so excited. Well, me too. Well, that's... That's really good to know. I'm glad to hear that everybody here is excited about Christmas. It, whoa, wait a minute, though. Uh, where's Jack? Has anybody seen Jack Sparrow? No, to come to think of it, I haven't seen him. Oh, boy. Hmm, let's see. Jack Sparrow. Has anybody seen Captain Jack Sparrow? No, I haven't seen him. Hmm. Well, why wouldn't he be around here? Normally, he's hanging out with you guys. And today, he's not. Do you suppose maybe that he had this planned? Had what plan? Did you discuss with him this, per this Christmas party plan? I don't think so. And even if I did, I must have forgot. Unless he's reading my mind and probably planning it before I am. Wise guy. Well, he probably went out to get one of those little rums. <laughs> Rum dumb, and he wants to make everybody drunk on Christmas. He may be the only one drinking. Well, I hope that wherever he is, I hope he comes back. Um, I also have to look, look around for that Christmas spirit. I know that he's got to be around here somewhere if he's the cause of that tree moving. Yeah, probably is. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to know. So you guys get yourselves ready for a big Christmas party. And uh, I'm going to find out what's going on here. Where is Jack anyway? And where is the Christmas spirit at? The, the spirit of Christmas present who is in this house and really felt that he had to come back. But wherever you are, Christmas spirit, there's no need to be here. I still say you can just pass by. The only one we're expecting a visit from is Santa Claus, and uh, we want to see him. Uh, yeah. Where, where's my hat? There's my hat. Oh, well. Hi, buddy. Merry, Hi, buddy. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, you dropped your hat. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, so um, you're planning yourself a Christmas party, huh? Oh, you overheard. Yes, I, I'm, I'm planning myself a Christmas party. Uh, I, uh, I love Christmas, and, uh, 
I just wanted to say, do you remember that one year where I didn't feel like celebrating Christmas? Yes, I do remember that. Uh, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, and I don't want you to get the wrong idea either. It's not that I hate Christmas. It's just that I didn't feel like celebrating Christmas. Yeah, I remember that, buddy. But also, uh, do you remember that I what I told you? Ah, yeah, I remember what you told me. You told me to go find the Christmas spirit. I also told you that, you, you know, you have all your friends that care about you. All my friends were very upset because I didn't feel like celebrating Christmas. What I learned was that my gift is all is already here where I don't even need to spend the money on it. And your friendship, my friendship, and your friendship and my friendship from me to you and from you to me and from me to them and from them to me is a Christmas gift right there already. Well, that's that's good, buddy. I also remember you shared uh, that uh, Christmas is a, uh, a about the birth of the Christ child too, right? Yeah, that's that's the that's the main main reason right there of why we do celebrate Christmas. Well, I can just say that Christmas is is just the best time of the year that we can all celebrate. Uh, do you have you guys uh, by any chance seen Jack Sparrow? No, I have not seen him. I I uh, that I overheard that you guys were looking for him. You're seeing Jack? Nope. Weird. Where's he at? That's what I'm asking. Oh. Hmm. It's uh. I didn't even mention this Christmas party to him unless he's planning it. Also, going out and getting drinks. Well, that's probably what he's doing, buddy. Yeah, that probably is what he's doing. I don't know about him. I just hope that, you know, wherever he is, he doesn't stay away too long. I don't really want to celebrate this party without him. Well, I'm pretty sure that he won't stay away too long. Say, uh, Brian, do you also remember that I told you that the, the spirit of Christmas present? And that you couldn't see him, but I could? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I remember you told me that. Well, he's returned. You saw him? I only know that he's here. The Christmas tree. What about it? It's all lit up and decorated. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't the Christmas spirit that decorated it. It was decorated by us. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is it's moving. Moving? Yeah, come on, I'll show you. All right. Well, let's, let's go look at it. You see? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. I see it moving around. Buddy. Yes? What does that have to do with the Christmas spirit, though? Well, he's, uh, he's got the, he's got the power to make it move by itself. Oh, I see. So he's the whole reason why this thing is just going around and around circles. What else? I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. All I ever seen is the tree moves all, you know, go around and around, moves by itself. Maybe Buddy was, I think he, Buddy just said that probably a Christmas spirit just made the Christmas tree moving. That's what he's saying. Hmm. I don't know why, but maybe it's moving by itself. What are you going to do, buddy? He's here. I know he is. Who in the world needs help, though? He put me on the tree, too. 
on the tree to be like a Christmas ornament? No, he, he, he put me on the tree for a tree ride. No seatbelts on that thing. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing. I'm just kind of surprised. I remember, yeah, I remember you were actually just tripping out. And also, uh, like, oh, the Christmas spirit put me on the tree. Well, if he did that to you, you'd be freaking out yourself. All right, you got a point there. Oh, you know what? I just had a thought. What? About your friend Jack. What about Jack? Well, I, I can't say that I know this for sure, but maybe maybe there's something going on with him. Jack? Are you kidding? That guy? No, no. I don't think you and I are talking about the same Jack Sparrow. Well, he's the only one I know. Jack would never hate Christmas, if that's what you're saying. Well, I'm not saying that he hates Christmas. I don't remember hearing that coming from him. I'm just saying that maybe... Let's, let's say maybe he uh, is to the point where he doesn't feel like celebrating Christmas. Are you kidding me? That time when I didn't feel like celebrating Christmas, he was trying to get me to think better. Well, yeah, but he, maybe he's a little different. The Christmas spirit probably knows more than you do. Please tell me you're wrong. Well, I could be wrong. I didn't say that I was right. I didn't say I was right or wrong. I'm just assuming. You're assuming. Yes, I'm assuming. Your hat, buddy. Well, there is a lot that I have to see. To find out. I really want to find out where Jack is because I really don't want to do this party without him. Well, I don't blame you. One, one friend missing from the party doesn't really make the party any good. No, it doesn't. But, uh, I know the Christmas spirit is also in this house and maybe I should find him. Maybe I can get answers from him. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea, buddy. So you believe me? Believe you about what? That I saw the Christmas spirit. I believe that you saw him. May it, that's what you say, anyway. And he was here to help you. Yeah, they also say that Christmas is a magical time of the year. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm starting to have, now I'm, I'm starting to worry, though, about Jack even more. With what I said? Well, I don't want to let what you said bother me. But what if, just what if, what if he has decided not to want to celebrate Christmas this year? Well, buddy, maybe you can help him. Or maybe the Christmas spirit can help him. But... Let's just hope that that's not the case. Well, every, everybody also assumes that he probably knows about my party and probably went out to go get some drinks. Did you ever tell him about this party? No. Well, maybe he already has a plan, you know, just in case. He probably figured you were probably planning this party and probably went out to get the drinks. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess I'm going to go and uh, look around. All right. Christmas party uh, soon. But I think I'll find Jack first. At least try to find him. Okay. Also, the Christmas spirit. Almost like detective work. <laughs> yeah. This is clue number one. The Christmas tree is moving. He's returned. Hmm. Well, go find out. I will. I think I'll start looking out here. Okay. 
So everyone you know wants to celebrate Christmas. Right? I hope so. The Christmas spirit, though, has come back. You've seen him? I see a sign that he's back. What did you see? That tree is moving. It was moving even the last time he was here. Well, I can't say that I don't believe you. It looks like you're on your way to go meet him. I don't know where he is. I'm just going to find him. Paul, can I go with you? Can you smell where he is? <laughs> well, I don't smell anything. He's uh, invisible. Invisible in thin air, and I would always smell the air, but I don't smell him. <laughs> well, then this is probably something that I may have to do on my own. Um, listen, uh, you guys all stay together, and if you see Jack at all, let him know about the Christmas party that I'm planning. We'll do. Yeah, we do. I uh, don't want to celebrate it without him. I'm hoping that he, he uh, at least feels up to celebrating Christmas. Why would Jack not want to celebrate Christmas? And why would the Christmas spirit be here? But I don't think that it's Jack. Well, I hope not. But if it is, then we'll have to give him the help he needs. Okay, well... Good luck. Yeah. We'll, we'll let Jack know if, uh, if we see him. We'll let Jack know that about the Christmas party. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, buddy. We'll let you go now. All right. Did he say Jack Sparrow? Uh, he's going to go look for Jack Sparrow, but he uh, mentioned that the Christmas spirit has returned. Returned? The Christmas tree is moving by itself. Yeah, and he's going to go out to investigate. Well, I, uh, I kind of wonder uh, what he's here for if he really is back. That's what Buddy's going to go find out. Well, good luck to Buddy. I wished him that. Well, he also says that if we see Jack, we need to let him know about the Christmas party plan. Yeah, I agree. Is anyone here? <laughs> Come on out! Come out! Look upon me! What are you doing here? <laughs> well, hello, buddy. We meet again. Uh, yes, we meet again. Uh, for the second time, of course. Well, uh, I noticed that you had said that I had no need to come back, right? Uh, that's what I said. I believe that I said that the last time you were here. And I even said it again. <laughs> but without me, how can the joy of Christmas be spread around, buddy? I don't know. You admit for one thing that you couldn't have done it without me. You have learned, also, that Christmas is not just about buying things for people, but having everyone all together as a family. I learned a lot the last you were here, Spirit. Um, I learned, uh, I learned that I really am gifted to have all my friends together. My friends will always be the gift. I don't need money to buy anything, even though that's what we like to do, and it's a thoughtful thing to do. That's why I wanted to do it. What else I learned... I'm way ahead of you if you're about to ask me. Oh, go right ahead and tell me. What I've learned is that my friends are like family. My friends are just the best gift that I've ever had. And I've also learned that there is 
a real main reason on why we celebrate Christmas. And that is the birth of the Christ child. Who people need to remember on why we celebrate Christmas. People choose not to seek the Christ child in their hearts. But I would like to help them seek him in the hearts of others who do celebrate Christmas. Yes, that's it. You know, I well, we 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 sudden we remember what Christmas is about, but we sometimes start to forget. And what I believe that I'm doing when I celebrate this party, along with this party, is that I'm celebrating his birth. That is very good, buddy. You know, to come to think of it, I really ought to be mad at you. Well, why is that? For coming back when I said after I said that there was no need to. But you know, I'm not mad. And do you know why you're not mad? I can tell you why you're not mad. You're not mad because the joy of Christmas is in you. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Buddy. I am your friend. You know that, right? Yes, yes, you are. You know, maybe you, you know, maybe you will be needed. Maybe. Okay, okay. Well, then I guess I'd say, yeah, you will be needed. Hmm. Yes, my friends. They're needed. They're wanted, and they're all here, uh, except for one, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> You wouldn't buy any chance of seeing him now, would you? Uh, maybe. Maybe. That's not a very good, uh, answer. I guess I, uh, another reason why I should be mad at you is because you haunted me by putting me on that Christmas tree. But to come to think of it, it was fun, wasn't it? I... Yeah, 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 of course, of course, even though there was no seatbelt. But I was pretty safe. I kept you safe. With that horn in your hand? <laughs> well, all the safety pays off. I thank you for that. Oh, you're very welcome, buddy. Buddy, um, I have come to talk to you. I have somebody that I would like for you to meet. Meet? Hmm. Who is this that you want me to meet, Spirit? I have returned because I have someone that you should meet. Somebody that I helped a very, very, very long time ago before I even met you. Mm, this person that you helped me a very, very long time ago before you even came to me. Uh, was he somebody that really needed help? Somebody that believed that Christmas was a waste of time. Oh, well, that's not good. A lot of people do need my help. A lot of people that also say that Merry Christmas is the offensive thing to say. And who would want to say that about Christmas? It's only people who just find Merry Christmas is the offensive thing to say, where nowadays Christmas, saying Merry Christmas is never allowed. Like all people are allowed to say is happy holidays and season's greetings. I think I heard that offensive story. Offensive story that is also true. Spirit, why haven't you come back here? Why can't you go to people like that? As I said, I am here because I have somebody that I need you to meet. You are on an assignment, buddy. So you will come with me and know him better. Very well, spirit, anything you say. If you have business with me once again, then I accept. Very good. I also have something to show you real quick before we go and meet him. Oh, we have plenty of time. Well, good. Okay, okay. The day is still young. Of course, how old can a day get? <laughs> that was a good joke. And I'm very, very pleased that you liked it. 
I guess if you have business, then that gives it a good gives it a good reason for why you are here. I told you you would need me. Yeah, well to come to think of it, uh, you were right. Come with me now, buddy. All right. Whoa, easy. You're not afraid that I'm going to drop you, are you? Oh no, no. Spirit. Why have you brought me here? Do you not know what this place is? Ah, uh, it's a, uh, it's a church. Exactly. A church where people who do celebrate Christmas go right in for Christmas Eve services. Ah, oh. so that is a good reason on why you brought me. People that do not celebrate Christmas don't even bother to go. Uh, these people that go to a church like this believe that Christmas is the best time of the year to celebrate. Christmas and Easter. Easter? Ah, uh, well, Easter is uh, when we uh, celebrate the uh, death and resurrection of the Christ child who gr grew up to be a man. As the song says, God rest ye merry gentlemen, may nothing be dismayed. And remember, Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power. So, uh, we cannot be led astray. O tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. O tidings of comfort and joy. That's very good. Can you imagine how many people could be in this church? Uh, why don't we just go in and figure that out? I couldn't go in. Spirit, open the door. Uh, well, buddy, well, buddy, my butt, open the door and let me go in here at once. I believe that I have business with you. Can't we do business in church? That's where it's done. Maybe we can talk to a pastor or something. Nobody. Fine. You're a loss, not mine. Oh! Lead me, fat man. Fat man? Spirit, ah, uh, why have you brought me here? I have brought you here to meet someone. Okay, well, the way I look at it, it's just you and me. First, before we meet this person I wanted to show you, I wanted to talk to you about Jack. Jack? What about him? Where is he? Did you see him? Is he coming to my Christmas party? Jack has no idea that you are making this Christmas party. Okay, well, uh, where is he? Because I sure would like to have this Christmas party celebrated with him. I'm afraid there is bad news about him. What? He does not wish to join in celebrating Christmas. I beg your pardon? I said he does not wish to celebrate... <laughs> yeah, I heard you the first time. Well, then why did you say I beg your pardon? I don't know. I wanted you to repeat one more time, but I can't believe what my ears are saying. Uh, you don't have any ears. Well, then I can't believe that I'm hearing anything at all. But, Spirit... How could he not be celebrating Christmas? Well, I'll tell you. Please tell me. Jack is a pirate. Well, what's that got to do with it? He... That's impossible. I wish it were impossible, but I'm afraid it isn't. Okay, so, uh... 
What's going on with this guy? Patience, Jack. I mean, patience, buddy. Jack is not wanting to celebrate Christmas because I'm afraid he has have been given second thoughts. Second thoughts? Tell me what's going on. Where are you going in such a hurry, Jack? I am going to, uh... I'm going to see my friend Buddy and uh, his friends. Why, why do you want to know? Of course you know what time of the year it is, Jack. Uh, the time of the year? The time of the year is, is Christmas. Mm-hmm. The time of the year is Christmas. Do you know that Buddy always loves to celebrate Christmas? Well, there was a, there was a year where he uh, didn't want to celebrate Christmas, and it was not because he hated Christmas. It's just that he didn't feel like celebrating Christmas. Because Christmas is a waste of time to celebrate. Well, I don't believe that Christmas is a waste of time to celebrate. Christmas is for everybody. Where's your Christmas spirit? Oh, you don't have Christmas spirit, do you? <laughs> Christmas spirit? Man, there is no such thing as Christmas spirit. Get it through your head. You're a pirate. What in the world do you want to celebrate Christmas for? Well, I believe that Christmas is for everybody. And I have friends. Buddy realizes that he has friends too, and did not need to buy anybody gifts. <laughs> buy any gifts? <laughs> Jack, here's one thing that I'm trying to point out. Christmas is not for you. But Christmas is for everybody. Everybody except for a pirate. Everybody except for pirates. You are a pirate, Jack. Do you think pirates celebrate Christmas? Do you honestly think that pirates sing Christmas carols? Do you honestly think that that is a pirate thing to do? What kind of pirate are you? I am not a I am I am a pirate, but I am not the kind of pirate that robs people or anything dreadful. I don't murder anybody. I'm not saying that you have to be. I'm just saying that pirates don't celebrate Christmas. Well, why do I have to be like every pirate? Because no pirate celebrates Christmas. If you are going to celebrate Christmas, Jack, well, then that means you are no pirate. I celebrate Christmas? That means I cannot be a pirate? Last year I celebrated Christmas and I was still a pirate. You're not a very good pirate if you celebrate Christmas. You're a fake. You're a phony. That's what you are. Well, then what do you want me to do? Stop celebrating Christmas. That is all I'm going to say. Well, then I have to celebrate something. I have an idea. You're a pirate, be a pirate. What you should do is take over Christmas. I could not do that. Make up your own holiday. But does that mean Buddy has to celebrate that holiday too? Christmas is not for you, Christmas is for him. You're a pirate. Make a holiday for a pirate. Make it Pirate Day. The day on when you sail the seven seas. That's when you should celebrate. Not Christmas. Not a Christmas tree. Not a day where everyone's gathering around together and singing all these crummy Christmas songs. Come on. Don't you think that you should just make up your own holiday? Huh. Well, I guess you're right. I know I'm right. 
Christmas is just getting in the way of all this. You come up with your own thing. Let Buddy have his holiday, you have your holiday. And this won't ruin it for anyone? Trust me. Just trust me on this. You gotta do it, Jack. You gotta have your own thing as he has his own thing. Very well then. I am not celebrating Christmas. I am celebrating Pirate Day. But what if I lose my friends over this? Well, then come to me. I will be your friend. Come to you. You will be my friend. All right. It's a done deal. Very good. I knew you would become a, a smart pirate. Now, happy Pirate's Day. Happy Pirate's Day. Yep, that is what your holiday is going to be. Now find yourself some rum. But who's going to replace Santa Claus? You don't need Santa Claus. Santa Claus does not bring you rum. It's, uh... Oh, Captain Morgan who has rum. Captain Morgan. You know how everyone writes letters to Santa Claus and wants Santa Claus to bring gifts? Well, why don't you write a letter to Captain Morgan? Well, that'll be a good idea. I will get a hold of Captain Morgan and tell him what I want for Pirate's Day. Very good. You have a holiday to prepare for. I so do. Well, that's just terrible. Tell me about it. That's wrong. I know, I know. Well, well what, are, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? Well, I can't do nothing about it. I... I don't have the power to, to, to change a man. He needs the Christmas spirit. I'm not a Christmas... I'm not the Christmas spirit. You are. But you're going to talk to him. And I'm going to be with you. <sighs> well, not with that pig in the way. Don't worry about Wilbur. Oh, I really ought to bust him. He has a, he has a way of screwing everything up. Don't worry about it. This is why I have come to to talk to you. Yeah. I told you you would need me. And fortunately, uh, you were right. Fortunately, I was. <sighs> you know something? For one thing, I, I know that I can't argue with you. You want to come back? Come back. And come back, I did. Yeah, come back, you did. But I, I just cannot believe it. I have a Christmas party that I'm going to throw. Jack is not going to celebrate it. Celebrate Pirate Day? <laughs> He's not going to celebrate it unless you help him. Spirit, you said that there was somebody that you wanted me to meet. And, uh, is this where I'm going to meet him? Oh, yes, yes. Follow me. I, uh, before I take you over to him, I must tell you that he's still sleeping. Sleeping? Why is he sleeping? Well, uh, if he's sleeping, maybe we shouldn't disturb him. No, he's, uh, he will awake. Oh, well, okay. Unbelievable about Jack. I, I just never thought he'd do that. I mean, when I didn't want to celebrate Christmas, it was him that, that told me that, that, that he was disappointed. And now it's the other way around? Yes. Well, I never even made up my own holiday of Penguin Day. But he makes up his own holiday of Pirate Day? Unbelievable. 
I know it is unbelievable. I can't let him do this. I just can't. There is time to help Jack. You're still going to do the party. Not without Jack, I'm not. Well, then you follow me. Anything? Yes, spirit. Wait here. All right. Ebenezer Scrooge! Ebenezer Scrooge! Come in, Ebenezer Scrooge. I know me better. Ugh. Ebenezer Scrooge, do you remember me? You are the spirit of Christmas present. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> spirit, I was, I was told to be expected to see you by Jacob Marley. What is it you want, spirit? I am here to to give you an assignment. That's Molly told me that you were going to give me an assignment, but I uh, I did not know what it was. I have somebody that I would like for you to meet, buddy. This is Ebenezer Scrooge. That is the Ebenezer Scrooge? Yes. Bunny, bunny! What is the deal with you? Peace, buddy. Spirit, why have you brought him here? Peace, both of you. Buddy, why did you do that? He hates Christmas. You brought me to a man that believes that Christmas is a humbug and a time of waste? But Scrooge has had a change of heart. Oh, I see. And my apologies, Mr. Scrooge. I did not mean to jump you like that. Apology is accepted, my boy. I don't understand, though. What the heck is going on? Well, this is the man that I wanted you to meet. Is this the penguin that I was supposed to meet? Molly never mentioned me dealing with the penguin. If it's all the same and a disappointment, I think I will go. No need to leave. I am... <clears throat> I'm not disappointed. It's just that I did not know because Jacob didn't tell me. Oh, understandable. No need to leave, buddy. No need to leave. Ebenezer Scrooge and buddy, you two will be working partners. As an assignment. Also, um, Ebenezer, Buddy will be throwing a, uh, throwing a party. A Christmas party. A Christmas party? Why, I would love to join. Mm. He, re well, he really has had a change of heart. Hasn't he, Spirit? Uh, yes, he sure has. A friend of his by the name of Captain Jack Sparrow, is in need of help. I will take you both to him, and you will know him better. Who is Captain Jack Sparrow? He is a pirate. Pirate? But I'm afraid of pirates. Captain Jack Sparrow is not a dangerous pirate. He's a friend of mine, and a friend of mine that's in need of help. And I am not going to do this Christmas party without him. 
buddy. Yes, spirit. I am afraid that I believe that you should do the Christmas party without him. But I can't do that. It's no use. Christmas must be celebrated. You can't keep Christmas waiting. A Christmas party can go on. And you can still get Jack. All right. There will be some entertaining. Do you know how your friends did not see me the last I was here? Yes, I noticed that. Um, well, what about it? I thought perhaps that they should see me this year. You're going to let them, my friends see you? Of course I am. Shouldn't they? I'm not here just to help you. I'm here to help all of them. But I thought you uh, were here to help Jack. I'm here to, for everyone to see so that they can know about the Christmas spirit. Well, they must know me better. They must see what you have seen. You must do this Christmas party. All right. All right, I will do the Christmas party. Well, then I'm I'm ready. Wait, wait a second. Spirit, can I speak to you alone, please? Alone? Yes, alone. Ebenezer, we will be back. The day is still young, and we have plenty of time. I will wait. You have something you want to say to me, buddy? Uh, yeah. It's about Scrooge. Well, isn't he invited to the party? There is, an, there is something that I must point out. Scrooge cannot show up at a party dressed like that. Cannot show up at a party just like that. Shouldn't he get out of the, that silly dress? Well, it's not a dress, it's a nightgown. P like pajamas. Okay, but this is not some kind of a slumber party. This is a party party. You know, you're right, buddy. I'm glad you agree, spirit. Ebenezer Scrooge? Yes, spirit? Ebenezer Scrooge. It seems to me that you are n not to go out like that. Go out like what, spirit? Dressed in bedclothes. Oh, I understand. So, without further ado, I change the... Ah... Splendid, buddy. Buddy. Yes, Spirit? What do you think of our party guest now? Uh, he looks very good. Those look really good on, on him. Uh, Mr. Scrooge. Uh, yes, my friend. Um... What is the deal with a holly on your hat? May I explain, buddy? It's because when Ebenezer Scrooge did not like Christmas, he had help by three spirits, the past, the present, and the future. It was you. You were the one that, that encountered Ebenezer Scrooge. That's right. When when the bell striked two, it was my cue to go in and take Scrooge to see his present. Hmm. I see. And does that explain the holly branch? The holly branch was actually when he had a change of heart and used that as a decoration for his hat. Scrooge had a change of heart. And Scrooge... Okay. 
from be, be, he went from being a miser to an earnest. Did you call me? Did, did, did you say earnest? What? Who the heck are you? Uh, I'm earnest. And uh, the, the question is, who the heck are you? I'm Buddy the Penguin. I thought I told you that I was not talking about you. Are you sure about that, Miss Big Guy? Because it certainly sounded like you were talking about me. You said Ernest, and if you said Ernest, well then that means me. I was not talking about you. E. Still not talking about me. I feel so not important. Uh, hold it right there, uh, Mr. Ernest. Mr. Ernest? What is it, little penguin? Uh, I just call me buddy. This is Ebenezer Scrooge. Uh, I thought he was Ebenezer Ernest. No, he was Ebenezer Scrooge. But he, he's been called Ernest. That was supposed to mean... Uh, what, what was that supposed to mean, spirit? So that this guy here doesn't get confused. It was supposed to mean he earned Chris, he earned money to pay for the poor. Pay to, he earned money to pay the poor. That's what it means, Mr. Ernest. Oh. Uh, Ernest, um, I wanted to know something. Would you like to celebrate Christmas with us? I am throwing a Christmas party. You mean it? You really actually mean it? Uh, no. I'm just inviting you to invite you. Well, well, jingle bells, I'm all ready for the celebration. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry about the whole uh, misunderstanding. Uh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Scrooge. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. Okay, then what are we waiting for? Spirit? Guide us the way. Well, that gets us on the uh, thin air travel. Usually it was actually uh, airline travel. Airline travel. Really? What in the world's airline travel? Airplanes. Airplanes? I have n <clears throat> I've never heard of an airplane before. You have traveled by my own Christmas spirit. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, very, in very interesting. Uh, you guys uh, go ahead and start the Christmas party. I must go and speak with my friends. Oh, all right. Aaron? Hey, hey, buddy, you're back. Did you find the Christmas spirit? I, I did. He was out here, but he, uh... Well, he, he was out here, and he, he took me... First, he took me to, to look at the church on the very top up there. A church? What else did he do? Was he the same one that came last... The, the last year? Uh, yes, it was him. He's returned, and the tree was moved around by him. I can't believe it. You can't. You won't believe it until you see it. Oh no! I mean, I believe it. I'm just surprised. Yeah, he's back. He also showed me a manger scene, you know, in there too. Oh wow! What else did he want? Did you find Jack Sparrow, buddy? That's what I'm going to talk to you about. What's going on? I'm afraid uh, Jack will not be celebrating Christmas with us. Not be celebrating Christmas? But that's, that's impossible. What he has to celebrate Christmas with us? He's lost the Christmas spirit? I'm afraid that he wants to do something else instead of Christmas. How can anybody want to do something else instead of Christmas? Oh, I, I don't believe this. 
Well, I don't believe it either, but I, it's what I heard. You didn't see him? The spirit of Christmas present has told me that he was, that he was encountered by Wilbur the pig. Wilbur the pig told him that Christmas is not for pirates. And Jack was trying to just deny it, but he was convinced. Oh, well, he's ruining Christmas then. Yeah, he sure is. But then we can't celebrate Christmas without Jack. I'm afraid we're going to have to do the party with, with or without him. With or without him? I'm not going to do this. We have to do it. Well, then how are we going to celebrate it? No. No, I don't think I will. Aaron, I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Well, it is Christmas after all, isn't it? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for... Thank you for your help. Spirit? You mean he's standing behind me? Yes. Did I just say that I wasn't going to celebrate Christmas? We have to do a Christmas party. We have to do a Christmas party with or without anyone that's missing. I couldn't agree more. Uh, yeah, I can't agree more either. Pardon me for a minute, Aaron. Where are you going? Uh, uh, buddy, your hat! Oh. Oh, boy. What's going on, buddy? Jack is not celebrating Christmas this year. I think you had the right idea. Oh, buddy, that's that's kind of that's too bad. Why is he ditching Christmas? Did you talk to him? I did not. The spirit of Christmas present is here. I don't see him. Never, never mind that. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, of course, never mind that. But what what are you talking about? Well, what what what's going on? The spirit of Christmas present has told me that Jack has turned down celebrating Christmas by Wilbur. Well, that's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Jack is convinced to do something else. Like what? Instead of celebrating Christmas, he's going to celebrate his own holiday, which is the Christmas... Not Christmas, but, uh... It's a pirate day. Pirate day? That's it? Well, that's what he said. Uh, that just doesn't sound like Jack. It is not like Jack. But he's going for it. Well, buddy, I'm sorry. Well, that means you can't... That means that you won't be able to celebrate your Christmas, your Christmas party. No, I'm going to celebrate Christmas, the, the Christmas party. You're going to just go ahead and do it without your friend? A party has already been planned. I can't just do this. Well, I, you know, I... All right, it's his loss. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm not going to just let the world revolve around Jack Sparrow. Well, that's, I'm really in shock about it. So am I, and so is everybody else. What can I do? Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. You're right, there is nothing I can do. What's up, Brian? <clears throat> I just found out that Jack is ditching Christmas. What? Buddy, you told me that, uh... The Christmas spirit spoke to him and told him that about about Jack not wanting to celebrate Christmas because of Wilbur the pig. Wilbur the pig had told him that Christmas was not for pirates. So Jack being a pirate, he's decided just to make pirate pirate day more important. And Christmas day mean means nothing to him, unfortunately. Pirate day. 
That's what that's what it that's what I heard. That's what Buddy told me. How bizarre. Oh yeah. But Jack Sparrow is ditching Christmas? He can't do that. I'm afraid that's what he's going to do. Well, if I were Jack Sparrow, I wouldn't listen to what Wilbur the Pig said, you know? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't listen to him anything what he has to say. Like, I don't care. I don't <laughs> care what he said. I could celebrate Christmas if I want to. Hell, anybody can celebrate Christmas, but it looks to me like uh, Jack has been brainwashed and that Christmas is not for pirates. Oh. I can't believe this. I cannot believe Jack Sparrow has been brainwashed by Wilbur. We better do something about it. Buddy might do something about it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping too. Buddy! What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to do this party. Well, are you going to do anything about Jack? The Christmas spirit is going to be taking me to deal with Jack, but he has convinced me that I cannot celebrate it alone without... With, uh, I, cannot I cannot stop the celebration. I'm just going to celebrate Christmas and then, you know, get a hold of Jack one way or the other. Hey, buddy. Yes? I just had only a thing to say about Wilbur the Pig. What? He's like the Grinch. He hates Christmas. Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't know. And I'm a little upset about it. I'm very upset. Very upset. Mm-hmm. But I have a Christmas party to do and... So when are you going to set time to talk to talk to Jack? Well, I don't know. When the time is right, I guess. But as much as I hate to do it, I'm doing it without him. Then I'll make him remember what it was like when I stopped, when I was not going to celebrate Christmas. Well, your whole your whole deal of not wanting to celebrate Christmas was because you didn't have any money. But that ain't why Jack is ditching Christmas. Pirate Day. I've never heard of such a holiday. It's not a holiday that anybody would celebrate. No, it's not. Unbelievable. Hello! Merry Christmas out there, everybody! Hello, my poppets. I am Mrs. Doubtfire. I just wanted to say that I love Christmas. Oh! Ooh, I really love Christmas. And may I have a dance, Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh, you wicked, wicked man. You would dance with an old lady? Oh, you wicked man, you. Oh, well, you, we don't have to hold on to each other. We can just dance and sing. Do you sing at all, Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh, you wicked man, you. I am... I am just flattered that you would want to dance with me. Ooh, I don't believe it. I just want to sing a Christmas song. This is Doubtfire. I would be honored to join you. Oh, very well. Very well. Deck the horse with pairs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Da 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 da. Okay, a pearl. La 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 la. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, a jingle bells. Oh, you wicked bad you. Uh, Ebenezer. Uh, y yes? Uh, do I, my eyes deceive me, deceive me, or does your friend, the spirit of Christmas present, dance with old ladies? Ho, ho. Why, no, your eyes are not deceiving you. He is dancing with the, with Mrs. Doubtfire. He, uh, finds very odd, though, maybe, but... He is dancing with Mrs. Doubtfire, a young man dancing with an old lady. A young man dancing with an old lady? And if that's not awkward enough, the last I, the last I heard, Mrs. Doubtfire was a he-she. A he-she? 
Why, what's a he-she? It's a, a, a guy dressed as an old woman. Oh, humbug. Humbug? You call that a humbug? Yes, it is a humbug. It's a humbug that, a, that, a, that the spirit of Christmas present would dance with a guy dressed as an old woman. No, I'm saying that you're being a humbug. I am being a humbug now. How dare you say that I'm being a humbug? Mrs. Doubtfire is not a man. Mrs. Doubtfire is an, is an old woman. That is a he-she. It is not a he-she. I can assure you, Mrs. Doubtfire is, in fact, indeed, a woman. <laughs> okay, don't be ridiculous. Where in the world are you going? I am going to dance with old Mrs. Doubtfire. You're going to dance with Mrs. Doubtfire? You're going to dance with a he-she? Oh, a he-she? Mrs. Doubtfire, a he-she? Bah! Humbug! There's no way to stop me, Mr. Penguin! It's Christmas! Don't you have any Christmas spirit? Ha! <laughs> or you will be visited by three spirits like I myself! Scrooge! You can't be serious about this! Ah, oh, unbelievable. May I cut in, spirit? Oh, you sure can. Mrs. Oh, oh, you wicked, wicked man, you. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive the... Spirit, may I say something? Why, yes, indeed. What is it? What is it, buddy? Uh, m m Spirit, were you aware that you were dancing with an old woman? Why, of course I was. Uh, do you realize that that is not an old woman? Why, of course it is an old woman. <laughs> How could you say such a thing? That, the last time I heard, it's a he-she. A she, you know, like a uh, half man and half woman. Oh, a half man and half woman, am I? Oh, you wicked, wicked man, you! How could you say such a thing? There, help, spirit! Mrs. Doubtfire is is going to kill me! Ah, spirit! Do oh, how dare you! Oh, how dare you, you wicked, wicked penguin! Oh, help! Spirit of Christmas present! Where the heck are you? Help! Take it back what you said then, you crazy, you crazy, wicked boy, you. You are naughty. You are going on the naughty list. What are you, Mrs. Claus? Or are you Daniel Hillard? Oh, I resent that remark. You wicked, wicked man, you. Spirit, spirit, help me before, before I am slammed on my head, spirit. Answer me this question. Is this Mrs. Doubtfire or is this a man dressed as an old woman? A big one must not be slammed by anybody, but no, it, tell me you are going to put me down, spirit. Shh! Go! <laughs> I got you, Mr. Penguin. Ho oh, oh. oh, ho! Uh, <laughs> Losing the Christmas spirit, eh, buddy? Oh, I'm having a nightmare. Oh. All right, buddy, what's going on now? Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire? Huh? The spirit of Christmas present in Ebenezer Scrooge. What in the world, buddy? What? That is ridiculous. Mrs. Doubtfire is not part of uh, Ebenezer Scrooge's story. The, Christmas, the spirit of Christmas present was dancing with Mrs. Doubtfire. And then Ebenezer Scrooge was dancing with Mrs. Doubtfire. Do you realize what Mrs. Doubtfire is? 
Mrs. Doubtfire? Who is Mrs. Doubtfire? An old woman! Or, I should say, an old he-she. An old he-she? Say what? What's, an he what's a he-she? Yeah. It's a man who is pretending to be a woman. A man pretending to be a woman? <laughs> what? You two don't believe me? You two don't believe me. You are such a cracker, buddy. How could you say that? It's true. I know you don't believe it, but it's true. Oh, boy. Was he imagining? Buddy, you, you wanted to do this Christmas party. A Christmas party not with a man dancing with a he-she. A man that is dancing with a man and Scrooge doesn't is not buying my word for it and telling me I'm a humbug. And then, and then the Christmas present is telling me I forget it. Mrs. Doubtfire? Believe what you want to believe. Did he just say Mrs. Doubtfire was dancing? Was a he she? Or Mrs. Doubtfire was actually here? I have no idea. Freak show. You see that, sis? This is why I have no hair because of Buddy's wildness. <laughs> All of it balls out. It fakes uh, your hair is a nest. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you know what? What up? Maybe it serves Buddy right if he sees Mrs. Doubtfire. That is she. <laughs> Uh, uh. This is the craziest Christmas that I've ever had in my life. First, f first, Jack, I find out that Jack does not want to celebrate Christmas. And now, Mrs. Doubtfire? Ugh, I'm losing it. And no one believes me. What? How could you snap me out of something like this? Do you realize, buddy, that I am losing my... I lost all my hair because of your craziness? Oh, it, how dare you accuse me of something like this? Uh, I think in the middle of the night, you must your craziness must have caused all my hair to fall off, and you gathered up my hair just to use it as nest, eh? I wouldn't be surprised if old Saint Nick puts you on the naughty list. Oh. <sighs> Go and have a Christmas party. Remember, it's Christmas. Not a time for a freak show of seeing old Miss He She Doubtfire. You are so ridiculous. When are you going to get out of my house? Get out of your house, but you're going to be talking to your friend Jack, and I can do it without you. You can do it without me? <laughs> Why, you probably wouldn't be able to do it without me. How are you going to speak to Jack? Don't worry. Mrs. Doubtfire is not going to slam you again. I saved you. Yeah, save me, you did. Well, aren't you happy that it's Christmas? <sighs> now, how can you ask such a question like that? Of course I'm happy. Mm, buddy, I did not mean to trip you out. I just thought of something fun. You know, fun and exciting. It's too bad Buddy is not here to see what you just saw. And why would you want to do it without him? Maybe he wouldn't like seeing me dance with... What did you call her? A he-she. Mrs. Doubtfire is not a he-she, I can assure you. Ebenezer Scrooge was even dancing with her? Well, you know Ebenezer Scrooge is a changed man. Yeah, yeah, he, he's changed all right. I think he's gone a little loopy. Maybe I'm starting to miss the old humbug. Oh, you would not want that. Oh, no, no, of course, I would not want that. So, he's the guy that you wanted me to meet. Oh, of course he's the guy that I wanted you to meet. Yeah. Well. Well, I... I don't know. I... 
You're not changing your mind that you're not going to do any of this, are you? <laughs> uh, maybe you would like a visit from Santa Claus. Santa Claus? I'm sure he would be glad to see every one of you. Mm -hmm. Santa Claus? You were planning on inviting him for Christmas, weren't you? Oh, sure. Sure, I, I was planning on inviting him for Christmas. Well, I think that Santa Claus would be very happy to see how well you have changed. But I already changed the last I saw him when he said goodbye to me. Yes. So, here is Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Santa, you came just like that? Oh, of course I did. Ho, 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 ho. Buddy, is this hat yours? I, uh, yeah, yeah, that's mine. Ho, 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 ho. Wow. Let me see it on you, boy. Uh, all right. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I wanted to see how my boys and girls were doing, and, uh, well, of course, you don't have any girls now, like, uh, <clears throat> it's just you and, uh, all your friends, oh, yes, Christmas party, eh, ho, 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 I don't know if my Christmas party is going exactly how I planned, oh, <laughs> and, uh, what is that supposed to mean, buddy? Did you know that the Christmas spirit was just dancing with an old woman? <laughs> I see everybody when they're sleeping, and I know when they're awake. I know when they've been bad or good, and you know what's been going on then. So of course I do. What? Mrs. Doubtfire is not a man. Not a woman. So I suppose you know what's going on with Jack. Yes, please don't leave him on the naughty list. That's my request. My request is, you know, let Jack have his chance. Oh, I did not come to put Jack on the naughty list. Because I know, buddy, that you will indeed help him. Do you have faith? Oh, of course, you... You had a way of being, like, shall we say, not interested in celebrating Christmas yourself? Well, I didn't make up a holiday of Penguin Day. I just never said that I hated Christmas. It's just that I didn't feel like celebrating Christmas. I learned my lesson, though. I mean, everybody helped me. The Christmas spirit helped me. Oh, yes, the Christmas spirit. I figured out that Christmas spirit was coming back. Uh, by that moving tree over there? Yes, by the moving tree over there. Do you remember that time when you were wondering why the tree was moving? Yeah, uh, you, uh, you and I both walked to that tree and you told me that it was the Christmas spirit. Yes. Yes, I told you that it was the Christmas spirit. Who made the tree move just like he makes my reindeer fly? Christmas Eve, oh, it's always a very big, busy time of year for me. Yes, I have to slide down the chimney and always eat all those cookies that the little boys and girls leave for me. And don't forget the glass of milk. Drink the glass of milk. Oh, I always remember to drink the glass of milk. Ho, ho, ho. Well, let's go see your friends, buddy. Ah, oh, my friends. Oh, of course, you haven't forgotten them. Ah, uh, no, I haven't. Ah, uh, buddy. Don't worry. I won't put Jack on the naughty list. Thank you, Santa. Consider it a Christmas gift from me to you. And also from you to Jack. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go see your friends. Uh, 
uh, everyone, everyone, guys, I have a surprise for you. Oh, did you see uh, Jack? Uh, no, that's not the surprise. I'm still, I'm still w working on that. Um, somebody's here to see you. Oh, who is it? Santa! Oh, I might have known. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to every one of my good boys. Ah, uh, yeah, and good boys and good girls. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, well, hello there. Hi, Santa. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm here to see all my good little boys and girls who are all on my nice list. Mm, cool. Yes, you've been a good girl, haven't you? Absolutely, well, Santa. I know you have. Are you excited about Christmas? Oh, you better believe You know that I will be coming down your chimney? Uh-huh. Are you going to have cookies and milk for me when I come? I sure would, Mr. Santa. Oh, you make banana cookies, don't you? Uh-huh. Sure do. Well, that's good. Ho, ho, ho. And I also made a banana smoothie for you, Santa. Banana smoothie? Really? Oh, ho, ho. Well, I like that. You would like banana smoothie instead of a glass of milk? Oh, I, I don't mind. Ho, ho, ho. Well, well, well. Santa. Oh, Santa. Oh, Santa, it's you. Hey, did you remember the, to, to bring me any bones? Uh, for Christmas, I will bring you tons of bones for your bone collection, Puggy. Oh, very good, very good. I I always could use a collection of bones to bury in the yard. Hello there, Santa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, Globo. Merry Christmas. Hey, you didn't forget me. No, uh, of course I didn't forget you. I'm here to see you, to see all of you, and know that you are in for a, a fun Christmas party. No. <clears throat> hello there, Santa. Well, oh, hello there, Grim. Oh, well, of course, it's so good to see you. Now, don't any of you worry about anything. I promise that I will spare Jack Sparrow from the naughty list. I believe that he will be changed. Well, we'll leave that up to the Christmas spirit, Santa. Of course you will. <laughs> yes, I know that all of you love Christmas, and remember that Christmas is your gift of when you are all here as good friends. And remember that you are celebrating the birth of the Christ child. Everything and anything you know that you can learn about Christmas. Exactly. Hello, Santa. Oh, rainbow cake. Yes. Oh, just is something in common with the Christmas tree, of course. Uh, yeah. Oh, the, the, the Christmas tree. What, what do you mean I have something in common with the Christmas tree? Well, Rainbow Cake, your, uh, your colors, just like the Christmas lights. My colors like the Christmas lights. Oh, different color. Yes. Yes, different color. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got, uh, purple, just like, oh, purple arm. R red, orange, pink, yellow, green all over. And an orange on his butt. I think that orange that's on his butt is actually the tail. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Hi, Santa. Well, hello there. Oh, you are indeed full of Christmas spirit, aren't you? Yes, Santa, I sure am. Oh, ho, ho. Well, I'm so very proud of all of my li my boys and girls. Don't forget to have your cookies and milk out for me. Uh, I won't forget, Santa. I had a cook, uh, <clears throat> carrot cookies and carrot cake and also carrot orange juice. Oh, well, that's going to be just great. I cannot wait 
until Christmas Eve where I will be sliding down your chimney and receiving your Christmas joy of all that, the carrot cake and your cookies and your orange juice while I leave you your Christmas gifts. Oh, thank oh, you, Santa. Oh, you're very welcome. Huh? Oh, ho, 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 of course, of course. <laughs> you guys have all been good and you deserve a good Christmas. Whoa. Hello, Santa. Hello, princess. Ho, ho, ho. Cookies and milk from you, too, as well? Yep. I also made a grape cookies and a grape juice. Well, that's just good. I really like what you girls are planning for, old Saint Nick. <laughs> well, I cannot wait. You will all receive the Christmas gifts the same as you the same as you I will receive what you leave out for me. Oh, thank you, Santa. Oh, you're very welcome and thank you. For the cookies and the uh, grape juice. You're welcome, Santa. Uh, I will thank you because I know that I probably won't get to thank you on the night of Christmas Eve. So, I'm going to thank each and every one of you right now. Thank you all, and I hope you will all have a Merry Christmas. You too, Santa. Oh. Here, have a hug. Merry Christmas, my dear. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Santa. And of course, you know, Mrs. Claus, my wife... Even makes cookies for me. <laughs> and then when I return home, I think she's asleep always. For Christmas. My busy season. <laughs> I, y y you won't forget me either, will you, Santa? Oh, no, no, of course I won't forget you. <laughs> uh, yes. And of course I won't forget Jack Sparrow. Jack... We'll have his lesson learned. Don't worry. Uh, what are you going to do now, buddy? I'm going to, uh... Well, I don't know. That's up to the Christmas spirit on whatever he wants to do. Yes. But are you going to still do this party? Yes. Yes, I will. Yeah. Well, all of you can enjoy your talk with Santa. I'm going to go and, uh find the Christmas spirit again. Okay. All your friends are very happy to see Santa. Ah, uh, yes, spirit, they are. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, bringing him. Oh, my pleasure. Ah, uh, where is Mr. Scrooge? He still isn't dancing with Mrs. Doubtfire, is he? No, he isn't. Uh, maybe we should go and, uh, visit with your friend uh, Jack. My friend Jack? Has the time come to visit with Jack? I think maybe a little visit with him will do some good. You can bring him out here. Don't worry. I will be with you. Come. What about Scrooge? We'll discuss that later. Jack. Oh, hiya, buddy. Merry Christmas, Jack. Uh, buddy. I said Merry Christmas. Buddy, I, I appreciate that, that uh, Christmas greeting, but I'm afraid that I cannot accept. You're afraid that you cannot accept? You cannot or you will not accept. All right. That's two things. What two things? I can't and I won't accept your Christmas greeting. And why? Why won't you accept a Christmas greeting? You're not going to accept something great from a friend of yours? I will tell you this, that you are a friend of mine if you allow me to celebrate what I want to celebrate. Celebrate what you want to celebrate? You're out of your mind, man. Come on, come to your senses. And what is a what is a holiday when you're only going to celebrate something ridiculous? Something ridiculous, buddy. I have celebrated Christmas for quite a long time, and I have realized that Christmas is not for pirates. Christmas is not for pilot pirates. <coughs> you're gonna let one fat 
piece of bacon tell you that that Christmas is not for pirates? Christmas is for everybody. That may be easy for you, but it's not easy for me. What the heck happened to you? Jack, you remember a year ago, just a year ago when I did not want to celebrate Christmas? And you persuaded me to find the Christmas spirit? Well, I found the Christmas spirit, but I believe it's your turn to find the Christmas spirit. I'm throwing a Christmas party that I, that I don't want you to miss out on. You're going to have to do it without me, mate. I can't believe this. I just can't believe that you of all people would do this to me. Well, if you cannot accept what I am doing, then I guess that means that you are no friend of mine. Who is telling you that I am not your friend? Who? My, uh, your... F Never mind. I will answer that question myself. Wilbur, isn't it? How do you know it's Wilbur? Oh, a good sense of humor I have. The Christmas spirit has come and he has told me. Here. Put this on. I don't want to put it on. You don't want to put it on? Because Christmas isn't good enough for you? Christmas isn't something that you want to celebrate? Well, let me tell you something. Christmas is not something that you want to celebrate, but it's something that I want to celebrate. I am not going to do this Christmas party by knowing that you won't change your mind about Christmas. I had to change my mind about Christmas. You want to know what changed my mind about Christmas? What changed my mind about Christmas is we're all together. That's what brought us together in the first place is Christmas. And if you're not going to celebrate Christmas, well, then I don't know how you would enjoy a pirate day when that isn't even Christmas. If you can't accept the holiday party that I am pulling, then that means that you are not a friend of mine. You tried to get me to think any different? You would point the gun at me? Put that gun... Put it down! I don't like to do this to you, mate. But I will. Jack. We're friends. Don't do this to me, Jack. You don't have to celebrate Christmas if you don't want to. But you wouldn't point that, pull that trigger on me. Jack. Jack. Did you hear me? I guess I just don't know what I am doing. You're right, you don't know what you're doing. I got a hand to you, mate. Christmas is not for a pirate, though. Christmas is always meant for everyone if you know what you're celebrating. The important thing you're celebrating is the birth of the Christ child. Now, isn't that important? All right. Stop the fight. Both of you. Break it up. I'm sorry, but I cannot let you do this. This is not your friend. He's a pathetic piece of trash. I cannot see, watch you beat up a friend of mine. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, Wilbur. Leave? You want this know-it-all fool to just make you celebrate something that you don't want to celebrate? Christmas may not be for me, but that does not mean that I need to watch my friend get beaten up. Have it your way. Have it your way. 
I think I will have it my way. Body, body. Oh my! Oh no! Body, body, get up! Who are you? I am the the Christmas spirit, the spirit of Christmas present. Look upon me, Captain Sparrow. Is he going to die? He will live. I must speak to you. But, but I, I don't understand. Mm. That is all my fault. I should not have. I should not have. I, sh I sh should not have let that pig jump on him like that. I wasn't meaning for it to happen. Well, of course you were not meaning for it to happen. Christmas is a very important time of the year. I am not celebrating Christmas. Not celebrating Christmas? But how could you not celebrate Christmas? How could you not want to celebrate Christmas? Jack, you will come with me. What about Buddy? Oh. Buddy, are you okay? This is the Christmas spirit. Yes, I know. He's the one that came and t came to me just a year ago when I said that I didn't want to celebrate Christmas. Buddy, I I cannot believe that that this has happened. I, I can't either. Well, I mean... Uh, I apologize, Bulty. Yeah, all is forgiven. Jack, I'm not making you celebrate something you don't want to celebrate. I it, it was no excuse, though, for what that pig did. Come. You must come with me, both of you. Christmas tree? Well, of course I remember the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree that, uh, that we, that actually made Buddy, you made Buddy go for a ride on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you going, what are you doing? Whoa, put me down. Stop! Don't worry. It'll all be fun. No. Why do I have to have this happen to me again? Because it is fun, isn't it? Feel the Christmas spirit. Feel it ev every time of the year. And you go around and around and around you go. And the Christmas tree continues to go around. To go around. Yes, it is Merry Christmas to you. Don't be a Scrooge. Celebrate Christmas. Oh, don't be a Scrooge. Just celebrate Christmas. Ha, 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 ho. Merry Christmas to you. And you will have the Christmas spirit. Ha, ha, ha. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to every one of you. Learn the true meaning of Christmas and have a holly jolly time of the year. Merry Christmas to you 
and Merry Christmas to everyone. Ha 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 ha. Merry Christmas to you. Okay, Santa, we've had enough. Okay, 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 Christmas spirit, we've had enough. Get us down. Go up. Didn't you have any fun? Yeah. <laughs> what about Jack? Don't worry. He'll be down. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Bully, where are you? Get me out of here. Don't worry, you're coming, you're coming. <laughs> Well, look here. Around and around he comes. Please know that I am not trying to haunt any of you. I just wanted to help everyone feel the Christmas spirit. We feel it all right. What about you, Jack? Oof. Does not change anything. What fun and what good is a, is a pirate day? What is a pirate day? A pirate day just does not even exist. I make a holiday of when I sailed the seven seas. The seven seas? And I can write a letter to Captain Morgan. Oh, Jack. Come on. Christmas is very important to celebrate. Christmas is the good time of the year where we're all together. Where we're friends. Where we're celebrating the birth of the Christ child. Hasn't that meant anything to you? It's Christmas being the important thing to you, but my own pirate idea is important. Christmas is not just for one man, it's for everyone. And Christmas is not, is also for pirates. Pirates is everyone. What am I gonna do, spirit? That was not enough. I know that. Come on, buddy. It'll all be better. What do you think Christmas means to you? Do I have to answer that question when you already know that I know what Christmas is to me? I want to reach out and help people feel good about Christmas and think better about Christmas and to see why it, why Christmas is always celebrated. You know. We celebrate the Christ child and we know that we have fr friends that are all together. We're together celebrating the same holiday. And I want to make this holiday for everyone. Then, you, you must not give up. I know. I know I, I must not give up. <sighs> this really worked on Ebenezer Scrooge? Exactly. And then it made him, it made him an earnest? Oh, never mind. Where did he come from? I have no idea. But Mr. Penguin, buddy, uh, buddy, you said you said that I could celebrate Christmas. Oh, watch it! Oh, the trees, Eww. the the tree branches are just knocking down, old Ernest. Uh, did did you say that uh, Ebenezer Scrooge just just danced with a with a he she? Are we still talking about that? I wasn't talking about it. You were, and I overheard it. Ooh. Mrs. Doubtfire is not... Oh, just never mind. Any luck, buddy? Not yet, but I got Jack out here. Oh, well, that's good. 
So, um, did Jack Sparrow change his mind? Not yet. Oh, shoot, still can't believe this. Can you? I think it's probably being worked on, though. It is. No wow, no wow, no wow, no wow. Bart is the king. Abby is royal. No wow, no wow, no wow, no wow. Bart is the king. Abby is royal. <sighs> Do. Bum, 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 bum. Who are you? Uh, I am Red Cane. Red Cane? Yeah. And I just, uh, I came around because, uh, we are, I wanted to celebrate Christmas. I'm a Christmas chipmunk. A, Chris, a Christmas chipmunk? A Christmas chipmunk. Hey, what's going on with you? Hey. Who are you? I am Buddy the Penguin. Oh! Uh, you, uh... You wanted to... You wanted to do a Christmas party? I thought I overheard something about that. I am running the Christmas party. But you're more than welcome to join us. Well, very good. I am full of Christmas spirit. What... And what Christmas means to me is a time where we can all get together and celebrate Christmas. You know, uh, where we're celebrating Christmas and we have each other. I like Christmas. I like the... I like it that we can all get Christmas gifts and sign Christmas cards, make Christmas cookies, and have our own families together. Yes. Uh, Christmas, a time of the year for giving. The gift-giving year. Yes, it is the gift giving year. Well, I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you uh I'm glad you have that kind of Christmas spirit in you. And uh plus my friends are all my gifts. Well good. I'm glad that you uh, are celebrating Christmas because I'm really in a in uh in a big pickle. Ah, pickle? Is there a way I can get you out of the pickle sandwich? Uh, oh, dead penguin, dead penguin, alert, dead penguin! I just killed him. Is there anything wrong? A dead penguin! Dead penguin? What do you, what do you mean a dead penguin? Was he dying? No, I don't think he was dying. Well, he's dead. See, he's not even breathing. He's not saying anything. I don't even hear his heart pumping. See? Nothing in there. Put your ear on this. Put your ear on it. Oh, he, he's probably just passed out. Oh. Oh, I said, he said he was in a pickle because somebody didn't want to celebrate Christmas. And I said, I like a pickle sandwich. A pickle sandwich? I think that when you said that, it kind of made him pass out. But if I said those words, then I killed him. That makes me a murderer. And I'm going to jail on Christmas. Well, you're not a murderer. You're you're just. What is your name? It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, prisoner in for life. <laughs> no, I mean, what is your name? You got a name? What is your name? Brian. Now, what's your name? I am uh, Red Canes. Oh, Red Canes. Yeah, but he's called dead. No, he's not dead. He's not dead. I'll tell you the trick is of waking this poor penguin up is snapping him. You're going to snap him? What are you, a turtle? No, I'm not a turtle. I'm just actually going to wake him up. Now, watch this, Red Canes. What? Watch this. Watch. Stand back. Take care of this. Oh, oh, he was dead and he's alive again. Dead? What? I said it again. I, I killed him. No, you did not kill him. He passed out. 
but he's not breathing, and his heart's not pumping. He's dead for sure. He's got the, the penguin heaven on Christmas. <laughs> he's not dead. I'll prove it to you. Uh, what? What? Uh, uh. See? You, you have the power to bring the dead back to life? No, he was not dead. I wasn't dead. I was just passed out a few times because I was hearing all these creepy things. Uh, so this means I'm not a murderer and I don't have to spend Christmas in jail? Yes, this means that you're not a murderer and you don't have to spend Christmas in jail. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for getting me off my naughty list. Uh, okay, okay. Ah, oh, God bless you, my boy. <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas to me! I shall never forget this day! You brought a penguin back from the dead! Ugh. Buddy? Could everything, can anything go crazy or any more than it already has? <laughs> it's Christmas, buddy. Remember the Christmas spirit? Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Dude, that squirrel is nuts. I think he's a chipmunk, and yes, he is. He's nuts. Oh. I'd say he's full of nuts. He's been eating too much nuts. Mm. He thought I was dead. Can you believe that? He thought I was dead. Yeah, he's calling you a pickle sandwich. <laughs> what the heck? Buddy! Huh? What? Could you please not say that? Okay, I won't say pickle sandwich again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Did I say pickle sandwich? Okay. I am not having a good Christmas at all. I would say pickle sandwich again. Curses, curses, curses. This is going to be a long Christmas. Oh, boy. Alice. <laughs> is anything wrong, buddy? Grim? Do me a favor. Don't ask. Okay, I won't. <sighs> Aren't you enjoying your Christmas, buddy? If it goes the way I want it to, I will be pleased. Okay. <laughs> Scrooge. Oh, yes, buddy. Uh, yes, there is somebody that, uh, someone that you should meet. Oh, of course. This is the best Christmas that I have ever had. I am so happy. Yeah, well, that's, that's good that you're happy. Um, say, uh, listen. I have somebody that I believe that you should meet. Oh, who is it? Oh, spirit. This is... Who is this? This is Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain? Captain Jack Sparrow? Really? Captain Jack Sparrow is the one who is refusing to celebrate Christmas. Because, well, it's because Christmas is uh, not what he wants to celebrate, and he wants to celebrate his own made-up holiday. I think that it's time that you came with us. Well, I am not going anywhere with you. And you can't make me. Put that gun down, Jack. This time I am holding on to your gun until you change your ways. You won't be pointing that gun at anybody. 
Not at anybody that wants to celebrate Christmas. I do not point the gun at you. And would you ever point a gun at somebody, at someone that has actually put the Christmas spirit in me? No. I didn't think so. Come. Buddy, you can, uh, you can stay here. Huh? You want me to stay here? Yes. Okay. Mr. Scrooge. Yes, Spinnet. I think that I should leave this to you. Leave it to me. To do what? You must speak to Jack Sparrow. And explain to him of your own fate that you escaped. This is what Jacob Marley was talking about. Ebenezer, this is it. It is. It's... This is it? Yes. It is Captain Jack Sparrow. Speak to him of me. Jack, I wanted to say... The Christmas is the time of the year where people can sh open their shut-up hearts freely and spread a lot of joy. I did not like being told Merry Christmas. I, of course, was like you. I don't hate Christmas. I just want to make my own thing. Make my own celebration, that's all. But it won't be the same without you. Everybody loves Christmas. And I really love Christmas too. I had to learn how important Christmas was. I was an old miser myself. I did not want to celebrate Christmas. I believed that Christmas was a waste of time to spend you know, spend too much money. But until the, this, till I was visited by three spirits who actually helped me, you know, see Christmas better and to change my ways. But Buddy, the penguin, is a real good penguin, isn't he? He wants you to celebrate Christmas with him. Yeah, I know. I, th I think that your friend would like it if you were celebrating Christmas with him. There is someone that I believe that you should see. Huh? Well, who was that? That right there was my partner, Jacob Marley. Jack. Huh? What? Jack Sparrow. If you do not change your ways, you will be in chains. You wear the chains that you are forging in life. I made these chains Link by link and yard by yard. You are just like me. No, 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 no. I'm not like you. I'll change. I'll do anything. I... You are just like me. No. No, I will honor Christmas in my heart and keep it all of the year. I will not shut out any lessons that any of the that any of my friends teach. I will celebrate Christmas with my friend, with my friend Buddy the Penguin, with anybody that wants to celebrate Christmas with me. I do not want to celebrate my own stupid holiday. Change you must. Uh, 
the great, great spirit of Christmas present. I, I'll do anything, anything. That was a stupid idea to come up with, by thinking that I would just find, find myself better off with, just, celebrating only a pirate day. I cannot do that. Forgive me. Forgive me for being such a jerk. Forgive me for not seeing straight spirit. Please. I don't want to end up like that pale-faced, uh, whatever he was that's in a, uh, that's in, uh, chains. Please, dear spirit, say that I will change. You can be spared. You will be spared, Jack Sparrow. I am ready and willing to celebrate Christmas. I am ready and willing to celebrate what's important with my friends. Then, let's go. Take me back, spirit. Take me back. I have changed. Come, Scrooge. Well, what is going on? The, the spirit of Christmas present has taken Jack Sparrow. Where to? So the spirit will, will convince him to change his ways. I hope he's not going to be too hard on him. I, I hope so, too. Where are you going, buddy? This is his gun. What is the what is the Christmas spirit done with Jack's gun? It's not something that the Christmas spirit did with Jack's gun. I took Jack's gun. He's not going to point it at anybody that wants to celebrate Christmas. Unbelievable that that Wilbur would do that. Would want him just to point a gun at somebody for wanting to celebrate a really important holiday? It's all been taken care of. Baldy? For... Forgive me. Please forgive me. I... I'm so sorry, buddy. That's... Can I talk to you alone? Yes. Yes, you can talk to me alone. Buddy? I... I have no desire to to be in these chains. Chains? What chains are you talking about? That there was this I have a lot to, to tell you, mate. There were these chains that this man, this creepy looking man came and approached me. He uh well he the Christmas spirit and Ebenezer Scrooge took me in the back room and and I and some weird-looking guy that was pale-faced came in these heavy chains and said that I had chains, but I did not see them, and his chains were invisible until the day of his death. Wow. Yeah. I... Buddy, I was wrong not to want to celebrate Christmas. I know now. I know that I would rather celebrate what is... A Christmas that is for everyone. Pirate Day is not for everyone. Pirate Days are only just for pirates. But I don't want to celebrate a, a holiday that isn't for everyone. I want to celebrate something that is for everybody. Well, that's... That's what I was... That's what I want to, Jack. Because I have also learned that Christmas is... A time of the year where you know we're all together with our families and our friends and 
to where we all have the gift. You're my gift, I'm your gift. And the important gift is with is the Christ child, his birth. That's why we should celebrate Christmas. And that is not just for me. It's not just for you. But it's for everybody. The one who was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power so that we are not led astray. O tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. O tidings of comfort and joy. Wow. That is, that is really good, buddy. Yeah. That is what I want to celebrate. I want to, I want to be friends with you. I'm so sorry about earlier. I'm sorry about Wilbur the pig. I'm sorry that he beated you up. I'm sorry that I was going to ditch a real big special holiday that you wanted to share with me. I'm sorry that I was not going to accept a, a, an invitation to your Christmas party. I'm sorry for letting the chain stay on me. You have done well, Jack Sparrow. The chains are removed from you. Buddy, may I speak to you alone, please? Sure. My time is almost gone, buddy. You're leaving? Again? Buddy, I will always be here. But I wanted to say that I'm glad that you did not de give up on your friend. Yeah, it wasn't really easy. But I, I don't think that I would have done it without you. We wouldn't have done it without you. Spirit, you asked me earlier if I could imagine how many people were in this church. I'd say several. Several people could be in this church. Like, probably, you know, probably uh, 10 people, 11 people, 12 people. Anybody that a lot of this church can be filled with people that want to celebrate Christmas. I can imagine that there is a service going on that I can see right now in this church. And uh, I think that I will join. But I can't fit in. Buddy, that's because it's not a real church. What? I beg your pardon? You heard, it's not a real church. But it is, I tell ya. Hey! Let me in! It is only a decoration. Decoration? What? I only just wanted to talk to you about both the church and the... and also the... uh... the nativity. You know, you really have brought a lot of joy, Spirit. I, uh, I understand why you would want to come back to, to help my friends accept Christmas. To help Jack. Spirit, is there a time where you're going to really be back? Do you think that I'm going to really be in need of you? May I come back? Come back any time you want. You can come back for Christmas. You can come back for Thanksgiving or Easter, as far as I'm concerned. I am a Christmas spirit, and that is only when I can return. Oh. Buddy, I have also noticed that someone in this family is also missing. Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, he is. He he is a brother to uh, a brother and a sister. But I know that they're also sad because he's not here. Well, yes, 
but they also have the joy that I can give them by knowing that they can visit him for Christmas. And they still have each other. You see, buddy, without me, there could be no joy. I see. Well, I... I don't think that I would be able to make it without you. Thank you, spirit. Spirit? Spirit! He's gone. Yeah, he is. Who, who's gone? Who? The Christmas spirit. He, he was here. He brought me here to the church, and then, and then he, he left. Um, buddy? Hmm. Was someone in there? I don't know. Spirit, are you in there? I see your light. Spirit? Well, wait a minute, Spirit. You say that I can't go in, but you can? That's not fair. Um, buddy, I don't think he's in there. It's a decoration. No one is in the church. He's gone. What? Oh, brother. Like, whoa. Like he thought the Christmas present was... What? I thought you left. <laughs> what the heck is this? Some kind of a joke? I also have told you, though, that I was going to let my your friends see me. Oh. I have some time left so you can see so they can see me. Okay. Sorry that I startled you. Bozzy, who's this with you? This is the Christmas spirit. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's the one that I was trying to sniff in the air, but could not smell him? Yes, and he's the one that's actually been helping us feel the joy of Christmas. Oh. Nice to meet you, Buggy. He, 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 he knows my name. Of course he knows your name. Well, interesting. Everyone, I'd like for you to meet the Christmas spirit. The Christmas spirit? You're the one that has been helping, buddy? And helping everyone else, everyone who is in need of my help. Everyone who has needed the Christmas joy. <laughs> well, I am very grateful to you, Mr. Spirit, for uh, helping my reindeer fly. Anytime, Santa. I do imagine that you are ready for the big Christmas night to come to where you fly around and give the gifts to everyone? Oh, well, of course I am. Uh, hey, son, uh, hey, whoa. This is the Christmas present? Y y yeah, this is the Christmas present, Grim. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice to see. Every one of you for the Chris for Christmas. Oh, hello there, little one. Hi. The little bunny rabbit. Uh, hello there, Mama Bunny. Hi. Uh, you know me? Of course I do. I am the one that spreads the Christmas joy in everyone. I know that you also have the the great Christmas spirit in you. <laughs> I do. You must be the Christmas present. I am the Christmas present. Wow. I, I have a, f a friend of mine who insisted on letting letting himself be seen by you and by everyone. Hmm. Cool. Yes, it is cool. This is it? This is him? But it can't be.
it just it's right that's right it can't be well it is pass out if you want but it is him yes know me better i am the christmas spirit with 1800 brothers 1800 you have 1800 brothers the biggest family that i have ever heard whoa who are you i am the spirit of christmas present <laughs> And who, may I ask, are you? Or you must be bananas, right? Yeah, how'd you know? I am the Christmas spirit. I figured it would be best that I would let everyone see me. For the sake of Buddy the Penguin, who has proved that I exist. Whoa. Hey, Buddy, did you know this dude? He's the one that, uh, he's the one that may be the Christmas... He's the one that made me feel uh, better about celebrating Christmas and reminding me to celebrate Christmas with, with everyone that, well, that you guys are all my Christmas gifts. That's the one that I've been saying that has helped me. No way. Oh, yeah. Way. Ugh. Um, buddy, I think I'm going to pass out. Oh, boy. You wanted me to to see everyone, and you wanted everyone to see me, right? Yeah, right. Hi, hey buddy. Uh, whoa, who is this guy? Don't be afraid of him. He's the spirit of Christmas present. Oh, hello, whoa, Christmas whoa. present. Well, hello there, princess. Hey, buddy. He knows hmm. my name. He knows everybody's name. <laughs> totally cool. Yes, I know you. I know every one of you. So that w so that you will know me better. The spirit of Christmas present, who has about eighteen hundred brothers. Eighteen <laughs> hundred. Eighteen hundred Christmas spirit brothers. <laughs> Boy, Mister Christmas present, you sure had a lot of family. Oh yes. I do have a lot of family. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Big family, indeed. So, uh, buddy? Yes? Was this the dude you're talking about? I believe he's the one and only dude that I've been talking about. Very interesting. Hmm. Well. So, like, was he the... I had a one question, buddy. Was he the one who took you to the Christmas tree and make you go for a ride like a year ago? Yes. He's making that tree. He's the one that's making that tree move. He's making... <laughs> oh, I see. So that's where he, that's why he's the one who make a Christmas tree move, right? Yes. Wow. With this little horn that actually brings the Christmas joy to everyone. And I also help the poor in need. The poor who need it most. <laughs> and even those who do not want to celebrate Christmas, I make them think about how important it is to celebrate Christmas. <laughs> wow. So, like, um, buddy, I had a question. Yes. Do you see where Jack Sparrow is? Yeah, Jack. Uh, Jack has has asked for forgiveness, and he's ready and waiting to to celebrate Christmas. Oh, good. My time has come to to leave now. Well, it's nice knowing you, Mister Spirit. So, uh, well, can you st uh, stay for one more for a song that I'm going to sing? Oh, I believe that I could. And then I must get Mr. Scrooge back. All right. So, so, buddy, the Christmas spirit has actually met all my friends, and all my friends met him. They saw him? Yes, they did. And I'm about to sing a Christmas song for the Christmas spirit 
and Ebenezer Scrooge to here before they go. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. So, buddy, um, does your friends really see the Christmas present, the Christmas present in person? I know it's very unusual to believe, but yeah, they seen him. Hmm. Okay. Odd, huh? Mm-hmm. It sure is odd. Awkward. <laughs> know what I'm saying, bro? Totally awkward. Yep. Well, mm -hmm. awkward or not, I got a song that I must sing for everyone. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night. Shepherds bring at the night. Radiant peace from thy holy grace. With the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord of thy birth. Jesus, Lord of thy birth. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Mark the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful glory nations rise, Join the triumph of the skies. Ring and jar and all's proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, And glory to the newborn King. Hark the herald angels sing, And glory to the newborn King. Yes, Mr. Scrooge? Well... That was really the best performance that I have ever seen, buddy. Uh, yeah. Buddy, I was sent to help so that I can actually uh, be an example to Jack Sparrow of how I was before. Well, Ebenezer, I really am grateful that you came to meet me and, you know, uh, that you... Uh, came to see Jack and that you that we uh, actually helped Jack to think better. Jack is a good friend. You know, I had a good friend. His name was Jacob Marley. Mm. Jacob Marley, who, uh, well, you know, he was in, he, he's the one that was in chains and him and I were both misguided, you know, when we were in business together. Oh, misguided? He came to me one Christmas Eve and warned me of of the fate that I would that I you know would be in if I did not change my ways. Then my chains would be strong and heavy, just like his. And all of this was to help Jack so that so that he can escape the same fate that you were trapped in. Exactly. I was haunted by three spirits. But all of that is past now. I am no longer the miser that I used to be, and I am not the man I was. But now I am a better man from what I was before. And I 
vow to keep Christmas in my heart and live it through the rest of the year. I will n never shut out the lessons that the past nor present or future teach. I will keep Christmas in my heart. Well, that's, that's very good. I choose to keep Christmas in my heart, too. There were some faults that I've had of my myself where I, too, did not want to celebrate Christmas. Although I find that Christmas is not something that I hate, and I never did hate it. It's just that I, you know, um, believed that I needed gifts to buy for my friends, which was humbug. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, humbug. But, um... I realized that they were the friends, and they were the important that I had. Well, that's then that's very good, buddy. Bravo. Well, I must go now. My time is gone. Well, Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Merry Christmas. Scrooge, are you ready to go back? I am ready to go back, spirit. But I'm glad that you have taken me to meet the penguin. I want to continue on helping everyone who needs help. Let's go, Scrooge. What? Seen the spirit one more time? Yes, I saw the Christmas spirit one more time. He's, uh, where is he? When will we get to meet him? Yeah, when? You know, I don't know. I didn't even, th I forgot to ask him about that. Forgive me, guys. That's okay, buddy. But maybe when he, you know, he will return. He told me that he'll return again. Will he? Well... When he does, that'll be great. I will tell him to let you to to let you guys see him this next time. Where did he go though? His time was to go. He's uh taking uh Mr. Scrooge back. Mr. Scrooge? Oh, Mr. Scrooge. I spoke to him. He was you know, to speak to Jack Sparrow. Well, that's good, buddy. Um I want to show you something. Well, what do you want to show me? Well, you've had... Well, you've had the uh, Christmas spirit show you everything. I think it's my turn to show you something. Okay. Oh. I'm interested in hearing about this Christmas spirit. And I want to know something. What is it that he exactly looks like? As I said, he reminds me of Willie Robertson. And also dressed in green robe, you said? Yeah. What is this? Well, you'll see. Very weird. I uh, just watch. Come here. Ah. Come here and know me better, Scrooge. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Have you never oh. seen the like of me before? Never. And have you never known my elder brothers all these years before me? I'm afraid I haven't. Have you had many brothers, Spirit? A huge number. Somewhere. Eighteen hundred. What? A tremendous family to provide for. What are we going to do? Walk into the world this Christmas night so that you can hear and see and feel Christmas in the world this night. Did you say walk or fly? Touch my robe. Buddy? Did he exactly look like that? Why, he <clears throat> was that him? Yeah, that was him, and who is that? That was, um, that was Ebenezer Scrooge in the Christmas present. 
Well, they weren't black and white. They weren't black and white. That's not very. That's not very colorful. And you sure that that was a green robe and not a black robe? Yes, I am very well sure. Well, if you're sure, then I believe. Well, you know. It's hard to tell because everything is in black and white. Takes the color out of everything. Black and white is a real big disaster. Thank God nothing here is black and white. <laughs> well, buddy, why don't we go and have some hot chocolate? What do you say? All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.